qualities do you think a good pilot should have? Mm. <laughs> Let me see. A good qualities of a pilot. First of all, he needs to be very responsible because he deals with a lot of lives and it, this is a good thing. And one, one of the, the things that he needs to be is very responsible. Second, he needs to study uh, very much because have a lot of system. The aircraft have a lot of systems, and every time the technology is getting something new. Yes. So the pilot needs to study all the time about <coughs> the, the new technology that is coming to the aviation. Okay. Is flying always safe? No, th that's the pain of the 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 where where are you going to fly, Phil? Fly with a good company that is very responsible. That make the, all the the reviews of the aircraft right. I think it is because if you go, for example, from São Paulo to Rio by car, you spend five hours and you're going to get some traffic and that kind of things. In flight, you just spend uh, one hour, and I think this is safely that right. going by car. Have you ever faced any difficulty due to lack of communication in another language? In English, Eric. <coughs> I'm sorry, or in I didn't understand. any other language. If I except I, Portuguese, of course. If I have if I, <laughs> any difficulty. Uh, I just speak English. I, I don't speak any other language. If that what is under what I understood that you question me. If I, I have mean, if you have ever faced any difficulties. Yes. Yeah. Trying yeah. to communicate in no, another language. No, because I always speak in English, and that I, I think is a universal language. So uh -huh. everybody knows a little bit. So make some okay. turns around and convert the situations. I see. What benefits can you get as a pilot by being fluent in English? A lot of ones. The, the, first of all, the, all companies want a pilot that speaks English. So that's the first the the, the most. Uh, that, that's what they want, want. So you need to speak English to 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 get in a company. So I, I'm just 21 years old, and I really want to to go to someone. So <coughs> I think the, the most important thing is have an English have English to to get it. Okay. How do you think services at airports could be improved here in Brazil? Sorry, teacher. Yes, and what? What does? How do you think the services at airports could be improved? Like, uh, could, could you give me an example? Yeah. Or General services in the airport. At, at the airport, uh -huh. inside of the airport. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the 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 service as nowadays is already good, mm -hmm. but I think what the most passengers complain is about the the delay of the aircraft. So they they could be more informed about it. Uh, tell me about your first solo flight. <laughs> was in Itapolis here in, from this company, Jota. Okay. I flew my, my solo flight, but didn't exist the Junjari base. Right. Just has the the just had a Junjari uh, Itapolis, sorry. Mm -hmm. So I flew. I, I was 18 years old, so I didn't have car license, but. <laughs> yeah, I took first of all the, the pilot license, Interesting. and after I, I, I took the car license, so it was a very exciting experience, mm -hmm. and I was very proud of myself and proud of my mom that she could pay everything. Sure. Okay, so now we're moving to the second part of the test, okay? Okay. In this part, you will listen to a speech from the recorder involving two different situations. Okay. When it finishes, I want you to report what you understood. Okay, okay. That, that's I can listen twice or just once? You can once? listen to twice. Okay. Okay? So you can adjust the headset. I need, I, I, I will read, I will, I will, I will listen. You will just listen, you don't need the microphone. Okay. Okay? I, I have to tell you what, sorry. Well, I will play the recorder and then you have to report what you understood. Okay. Okay? Let's go. Okay. What did you understand here? I understood 
the, the I, I think it is the I didn't listen very well, but I understood. I think it is the steward, this the steward, talking with the captain something about flat problem in the flat, but I didn't understand very well. I will play one more time, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, Manta is talking with the captain, requ uh, requesting him, uh, questioning him, what, questioning her because I think he's a woman. Yeah. And she said uh, about a, a problem in the flap, so she will call the coordination and she also disembark the passengers. Okay, so you are the captain, okay? okay. I want you to call coordination, inform the situation, and request three wheelchairs. Okay. Okay? The call sign is SD788. SD788. Okay, <coughs> coordination 7D, S, no, SD788. Go ahead. Uh, 788 requesting three. Wheels, uh, chair, wheel, wheel chairs to disembark the passengers. We had a problem in the, with the flap. Okay, so listen to coordination instructions now, okay? okay. okay uh, she told me to disembark the passengers in the gauge because they will change to another aircraft and she and the, the coordination asked me again if I request two chair wheels. And did you request two wheelchairs? No, I request three. Can you correct? Yeah. Go. Uh, coordination 788, uh, negative, request three chair wheels, okay. wheelchairs. All right. Now we're moving to a different situation, okay? okay. May I? <coughs> okay, uh, I had a, had a problem with a passenger that didn't embark the luggage, the baggage, and the I think it's the coordination's requesting to the, the airplane back to the gate to embark a uh, passenger luggage, passenger baggage. Would you like to listen to one Yeah. Time? Let's go. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's requesting to the aircraft back to the gate to get the discovery that the, the uh, one passenger that I don't didn't remember the name didn't embark the, the baggage. I think something like that I didn't understand very well. That's okay. Now I want you to explain this situation to the co-pilot. Okay? I need to explain this situation. You are the captain and you explain the situation to the co-pilot. Okay. okay. Um, okay. Jose, we... <laughs> <laughs> We have uh, different situations now. We need to turn back to the April uh, because a passenger forgot his baggage. So now request the, com the contract, uh, request authorization to the contract, please. Okay, so he's gonna ask you a question, the co okay. okay. Can I hear again? Danger is good in the He's asking you a question. Yeah, no. Yeah, we are need to turn back to the apron to embark a baggage mm -hmm. to the plane. Okay. So now we're moving to the third part of the test. Okay? okay. In this part, you will listen to two different conversations. But this time, I can play the CD only once. Okay. Then you tell me what you understood and I'll ask you some questions about that. Okay. Let's go. Yeah.
What did you understand? Okay, uh, the KLM uh, had a, a bird strike in the radar on the final approach. Right. Why are there so many cases of bird strikes in Brazil? I think because of the, the crash. Had a lot of crashes that the people uh, uh, threw every, every food, uh, a lot of fresh things on the, mm -hmm. the ground, so that make a lot of flocks of vultures. I see. So, and that, that's why I think I have so much problem with bird strikes in Brazil. Okay, and how serious can a bird strike be? In what, in what part the, the bird hit? So, it's the, the bird hit in, in the windshield it would be very dangerous because it could hit the pilot and the impact is very strong. I see. Okay. Have you ever suffered a bird strike? No, but an uh, uh, aircraft that was parking in the same hangar that I was had, had a has uh, a bird strike and I saw the damage was very very, very big very, really? big, very very big damage yeah to the aircraft okay. okay I will play the second one okay What did you understand? Uh, an Ameri uh, the, the tower is telling the, uh, to America that he that the, the tower is seeing flame marks getting off the left engine. All right. Uh, what can cause fire on an engine? Maybe a fuel leak in the, the system. Or Anything else? Probably a bird strike too. I uh, saw. So did you ha have ever seen a, a video in YouTube of uh, a bird striking? Mm -hmm. Getting the getting, uh, the engine in flame yeah. mounts. Yeah, flames. Not yet. No. Yeah, flame mounts. No, sorry, uh, little uh, flames. What are the actions taken by the pilot to solve this situation? First of all, cut immediately the the, the engine. Mm -hmm. So to cut cut the fuel because what cause flame is the, the fuel. Mm -hmm. So you need to cut the fuel first of all because if a boat. If, if this aircraft is underground, mm -hmm. it don't have any problem. Just get the fuel and the the fire will stop. But if you're in flight, you need to keep flying. So cut cut the fuel is the first whole thing to do, mm -hmm. and try to fill it as fast as possible. Right. Now, considering both situations from part three, can you remember the first one? Mm, no, sorry. <laughs> you don't remember? About. Uh, these problems we had in the listening. Yeah. Do you remember the first listening? What problem it was? Let me <laughs> think a little bit. If you don't remember, I can ask you another question. Let me think was sure. about bird strike. Right. And the last problem? Flame out. How would you compare? Flame out, no, uh, flame, 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 flame out. Yes. Uh, how would you compare these problems, in your opinion? About one is more more I don't know I think both are very stressful for the the, the pilot mm -hmm. and very very dangerous but I think uh, fl a flame out is a little bit more difficult to do with the situations mm -hmm. than uh, bird strike situations because the, depending where where bird strikes hit don't have any problem like on the situations said the bird strike hit it on the radon, so you just don't have anything to the aircraft. Just will you, you will land with no problems, but a flame is a little bit more dangerous. Right. In your opinion, what's the worst emergency a pilot can have? Both engine failures, I guess. <laughs> you I don't have to ask you why. <laughs> yeah. What happens? <laughs> yeah, because you don't have any power supply, so. What would the pilot have to do in this situation? Land as fast as possible. I see. Okay, good. So now we're moving to the last part of the test, okay? okay. I want you to describe this picture and okay. then I'll ask you some questions about it. You should describe me in as much <coughs> detail as I can. See. Okay, I, I can see a small plane um, is lining out the runway. Mm -hmm. 
I think that I can see some smoke in getting off the, the, the last in, in leaning here. So probably he had uh, uh, leaning blow blow out or mm -hmm. the tires blow out. Right. So, the, so I think that the Delta <coughs> tried to to stop and slide off the runway. Okay. How would you control a situation like this? That's a pain because I don't know exactly what's happening, but let's for example if if this if this situation is um let let's pretend that the tires blow out, okay? Okay. Um uh, I'll try to do that same what this pilot is doing, try to brake as fast as as much as I can. Mm -hmm and try to stop the aircraft and I can see a lot of grass of the runway so that can cause a little bit less danger to the aircraft so I'll try to put the aircraft on the grass too. Alright, and does a pilot learn how to deal with the situation during training? More or less, that, that's a very difficult situation because no one expects the tire will blow out. So. I see. Uh, what do you think it happened after the picture was taken? What, sorry. Uh, what? what do you think it happened? What the happened? Situation? Yes, the oh. continuation. Uh, I, from what I'm seeing here, I think that he, the, the pilot didn't have too much problem. I think that could cause a little, uh, a little damage to the aircraft because that's uh, uh, different situations. Mm -hmm. So when he put the put the, the aircraft on the grass, probably fine. He got some problem with the landing gear or something right. like that. And what will the worst result from this situation be? If you if the main landing gear bogged down the could put the propeller hit the ground so the damage will be very much. I see. Okay. Anything else, Gabriel? No, I think it just just that. Okay, so this is the end of our test, okay? Okay. Thank you for coming. Thank you.